while the decision of reopening restaurants in the city was a bit tricky. It is of course a risk that will be taken by people. However, strict guidelines are taken to ensure that COVID-19 norms and safety measures are followed at dine-in restaurants. And to check this, I am at one of the busiest streets in Pune called SFC Road. All safety measures are being taken over here. Well, I think I'll have to use the sanitizer first before entering into the premises. Now, they have, they have been show you. Yeah. Okay, so, I'll just go inside this and see how the seating arrangement is. You see, some tables are vacant over here. They have been marked vacant to follow social distancing protocol. And then I'll try to show you around how the dining experience looks post COVID. A lot of weekend seats. Well, I see a lot of people over here and it does feel like a normal day just with added extra seats. We'll try to speak to some of the customers and check how do they feel about the whole dining experience. This is Vadeshwar at FC Road, which is one of the famous restaurants in the Pune city. Yeah, now we have to wait in the queue to get in because of the decrease in the number of seats and occupancy. But it's good, it's finally you can come out, have food, have spend time with your family, friends. It's good rather. Safety wise, yeah, they're taking all the precautions and it's good. At least we can resume back to our normal lives finally. Because getting out, meeting people is what we <laughs> are good at. Yeah. I'm near Rupali right now and the restaurant is only permitting takeaway orders. The reason behind this is due to workforce shortage that the restaurants are facing. So let's go and speak to the owner and ask him. I am Shashindra Shetty, Rupal Hotel. We have not come to our staff yet. That's why we have a little bit of difficulty to start. Now, the people will come to the 12th century. We are going to start the 12th century. Let's visit some bars and see how the response has been so far. Seven steps do not enter before temperature check as prescribed by the Pune Municipal Corporation. So thermal screening and uh, sanitization is being done here. So I am being, uh, they are using thermal guns and everything to ensure that my temperature is not extremely high and to ensure that I am not showing any symptoms of COVID. Well, the place looks deserted, I would say, because all the tables are actually empty. Not many people over here. One of the busiest restaurants in Pune is empty because of the terror of the COVID-19 pandemic. So oh, today I'm feeling very happy, very happy. I was waiting for this day. I was every day, uh, like I was seeing news and when uh, these restra restaurants and bars will get open and I, wa I was waiting for Parmaish to get open. I know COVID is there, everything is there, but I don't know, this place I think is properly sanitized, everything is there. I'm feeling very safe and I'm very happy and very excited. Uh, so first they uh, sanitized our hands and uh, then uh, they have uh, like ha checked the temperature and uh, then uh, they have sprayed uh, that uh, sanitizers and all and uh, that's it yeah i feel yes we have to face all this thing i know we will uh, get crowds slowly and steadily because everyone is scared of uh, covid like we all are scared but now, after coming here, I'm feeling very glad, very great. I'm very happy and excited too. Thank you. To come here every day. Like, we will be coming here every day after the, like, once we got the news of uh, it is going to open. So, we will, the first one uh, inquired about it and, yeah, so we are here on the first day.
we used to be scared but right now i don't think uh, it, there is anything like corona for us because everyone has to come back to the normal so i just feel like a normal day and uh, because the since they are taking a lot of measures so it is i feel very safe for now i think it should be like till 11 o'clock or 12 o'clock but uh, till 10 o'clock it's still fine because right now it's just a starting days but according to me i think it should be like 12 to at least at least till 12 all the tables look deserted over here i only see four or five rest customers who have actually visited this place because by 9 o'clock the owner tells me that they will have to wrap up because the deadline is till 10 pm only well let's speak to the owner himself uh, uh, so we we had been waiting this uh, for this for a really long time uh, every month we kept hoping that, uh, that by the end of the month we'd have a notification that says uh, all right let's uh, start the restaurants let's start uh, start the bars we kept getting calls from our uh, guests constantly asking us if this is going to happen is it this month is it the 15th is it the 30th and uh, now that it's finally open uh, there are other new struggles that we are facing right now but uh, we're really happy and excited we had to start somewhere so uh, the most important measure we're doing uh, we're taking is uh, sanitizing after every 2 hours so we ha we have a dedicated uh, person who will take care of uh, sanitizing with high as sodium hypochlorite um, he is going to uh, spray it with a pressure bottle and uh, we of course we're doing our temperature checks we're doing random staff temperature checks also for uh, the staff uh, on uh, doing doing the service as well as uh, people in the kitchen um, we are taking care of uh, we're making sure that everyone's wearing their gloves and masks are on at all times um we are uh, ma uh, just to be sure and to reduce and minimize contact uh we using contactless dining that is uh, uh that is a software given to us by uh, zomato and dine out and then uh, we're also uh, what we've actually started doing is we do not actually um, like we used to do back in the days uh, we used to have uh, table service happening and in every individual was served on the plate so uh, right now the dish is just going to be placed on the table and we won't be doing service specific service um uh, we've got a few calls we so i think what has happened is people have been waiting for this for a really long time and um, uh because they've been waiting and there was no news because there have uh, there had been no news um uh people uh, every time there is this uh, thing about the 30th and the 1st that it is going to open uh there was a lot of rumor that it is it is going to open there are some other cities that had opened so we got a few calls but not many actually really showed up today um we're hoping that in the days to come when the news spreads and when people get to know uh that restaurants are open we'll uh, have better crowd but today i don't think uh we're going to expect too much see there are two things uh with with a restaurant i think uh, when it when only running a restaurant it's okay to have a 8 am to 10 pm deadline uh but for a bar it really doesn't work so uh so for for my what we have is most of our crowd actually walks in only after 8:30 in the evening 8 8 or eight, after 8 in the evening so the 2 hour uh, um, slot isn't going to help us much so we are doing a 50% capacity uh, after 8 o'clock uh, and then uh, we're shutting down at 10 so i don't think uh, it is going to help us in business at all so yeah we have come to a point where we do not really know what the future for us is uh back in the days before march we had a pattern we knew that uh, a friday would be a certain way a monday would uh, you know the people would respond on a monday in a certain way but right now we do not know so uh, we're all hoping that it goes well but uh, i think it's all, it's all in hope we 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 do not really know if people are going to walk in um uh, we do not have the students um would actually usually walk in early in the evenings uh the corporates are actually working from home so we do not know if they're actually going to travel all the way from where they are uh, to come and have a drink with us um so that way and when we are with families of course anyone who has an elderly person in their house would prefer not to go out and eat um so that they keep their elders safe so so there is a lot of question marks right now thank you so much for watching this is mehak kureshi reporting for punekar news.in